everyone. Thanks for joining us here today at Cakes Cooking and More. I'm Marie Lockwood. Today's recipe is a red hot apple pie and you actually are going to make this in the microwave. So let's see what we need. Okay, so for today's recipe you need a little bit of cinnamon, some whipped cream, some red hot candies, some graham crackers that we've crushed up, and some apples that have been chopped up into little cubes. Now I'm going to finish this last apple. I do love this tool, it actually works very well. Occasionally they get stuck in there. All right. So you're just going to take your apples, get them cut up, and you're going to leave the skin on. Throw them in a nice microwave uh, safe bowl. those are chopped up and you have them in your bowl. You're going to take your red hot candies, sprinkle them over the top, put a lid on this and we're going to cook it for three minutes. Then we're going to stir it really well and do another two minutes and then we'll be back. Okay now that our first three minutes are up, your house is going to smell really good because those red hot candies put out some cinnamon scent let me tell you. All right, so you're just going to give this a good mix. And depending on how big of a batch you make as to how long they need to cook, usually three minutes and two minutes does it. But what you're looking for is to get those candies completely melted. All right, now that we've given that a good mix, we're going to put the lid back on and put it back in for another two minutes and see how we're doing. Okay, now that our two minutes is up, Give that a stir again. I can see that there's still a few little red hots that haven't quite melted. We're going to go ahead and put this back in probably for another two minutes again. And we'll just do two minute intervals until all of those red hots are nice and melted mixing each time and then we'll be back. Okay, now that those are completely melted, mine took a total of nine minutes. You just want to give those a really good stir because that liquid, that is what's cooking your apples. So you want to make sure that all of your apples are getting in there and they're getting full of that cinnamony flavor, getting well cooked. Ah, oh, that smells so good. I do love the smell of apple cinnamon. Okay, now that we've got that pretty well stirred, we're going to put the lid on this and we're going to let it sit for five minutes to let it soak up as much of that juice as it can and then we'll be back. Okay, now that our apples have sit here for about five minutes, I'm just going to give those another mix, get that juice really in there. All right, now what we're going to do is kind of knock it down even. All right, we're going to take our graham cracker crumbs and you're just going to sprinkle those on top. Don't use all of them, but you're going to use most of them. And they'll help soak up some of that juice too. We're just going to leave a little bit behind at the end. Set those to the side. Now we're going to take our cinnamon, and you just want to lightly sprinkle that all over. Now we're going to take our whipped cream, I'm going to put that on top, Now you're 
just going to spread that out. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I try to get mine at least somewhat even. It's a looks thing. are on. You're going to take the last of your graham cracker crumb, just sprinkle that on top. And there is all you have to do. Okay, so that is it for our show today. I hope that you enjoy this pie as much as my family does. And it's so easy to make. You should really give this one a try. Thanks for joining us here today. Cakes, cooking, and more. I'm Marie Lockwood. Have a great day.